Hey Simmerays, welcome back to the channel for another episode of Let's Play The Sims 4 Eco Lifestyle. I must say that I love the fact that we start out pretty much every single episode in our garden. <laughs> I just think it's so sweet. Like it just is so lovely. The fact that like both of them enjoy gardening that much. I just, I don't know. It makes me super happy. It feels super eco lifestyle-esque. Um, so Phoenix is currently working in the garden, obviously. Fallon is just dealing with some of her needs. So she's getting her breakfast. She's gonna like get in a shower and stuff like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and do some juice fizzing. Um, I did actually create a consignment store that I want them to purchase and I think we're gonna do that in this episode and how we're gonna do that is we're gonna use one of Little Miss Sam's mods to get some credit so that we can buy this shop and slowly start to pay it off because otherwise it's gonna take us four flipping ever and I just I'm not patient enough for that it just annoys me that you have to come up with all of the capital yourself it's not even realistic it's not even realistic <laughs> in real life you would be getting like a loan to start a business so that's what we're gonna do anyway um, it looks like our Phoenix has taken it upon herself to go ahead and cook up some type of meal, some type of quick meal. I don't know what it is. Um, and then I did buy a plant, a few planter boxes so that we can do some of these flowers inside that are like worth a good amount of money. Cause I'm curious to see what like, uh, chrysanthemum and like, um, a couple other ones, what, and like roses, what the kombucha would be worth. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do. Okay, so we need to install a water recycler, perform an eco upgrade on a co um, compatible home utility like a shower. Eco upgrade parts can be made using a fabricator. I'm pretty sure we might have done all of them in the house, but I could be wrong. Um, and then submit an eco invention concept. And I realized in the last episode, I completely forgot to read her promotion. So she was promoted to installation intern. Um, she will now make an additional $8 per hour for a grand total of $65 per hour. She has also received the following bonuses, 600 simoleons, a uh, store, no more home fabricator, which we definitely found that one. <laughs> uh, draft eco invention concept. And when submitted eco, oops, Eco invention concepts are sub are approved. New inventions can be unlocked and crafted on the fabricator. And her shift starts on Saturday, which is today. Um, I have hair in my eye. Very uncomfortable. <laughs> okay. So Fallon's going to go ahead and make kombucha. I guess we're just going to stick with the begonia because we know that that makes us a good, good amount of money. Um, I can't remember, it's been so long since I've owned a retail store, but I don't think you can mark up the prices as high as you can on this table. So we might continue to just sell our um, kombucha and that kind of stuff on this table. And then just like our big items that we find um, from dumpster diving and such, we'll go ahead and, oh, no, not you. This is supposed to be, this is supposed to be Fallon. Um, the stuff that we find in the dumpster will go ahead and sell at the consignment store. I think that's what I was trying to finish saying. Um, but I am going to have Phoenix come over here and just dive for... Oh, she has to go potty. Oh, well. You can dive for deals for a little bit. Because our garbage is getting out of control. <laughs> um, it looks like Fallon wants to get in on the action. So maybe I'll let... Uh, Phoenix finish what she's doing and have her just come over here and like use the bathroom. She probably needs a shower now, so take a shower. Um, really need to work on, no, come on, dive for deals. I know this is your least like favorite thing to do. I need to work on getting them the like good hygiene reward. I can't even remember what it's called. But I think that would definitely be useful for dumpster diving, and we should probably work on that. So we're just going to see what stuff we get. Um, I think, excuse me, I have the hiccups. I think Phoenix is the one that has, yeah, she has um, discarded food in her inventory, so we can fill the... Um, 
trash can back up, but I think we're just going to get what we get right now and be concerned with that a little bit later. All right, I guess there's nothing left, so I'm going to have her go upstairs and take yet another shower. Um, and then we're probably going to head over to the retail store. So let's have um, Phoenix go ahead and plant all of this stuff so that way we can get it get it started with the uh, growing here inside. I can't wait to see like what other items we can like fizz, like what other kombuchas and like what the price is for those bad boys. Oh, it looks like Fallon's kombucha is done. So we're going to go ahead and collect that put that in the refrigerator before she goes and drinks it um I still haven't decided what I want to do with the computer like I thought about maybe recycling it or scavenging for parts um but I'm not or salvage salvage it into parts but I'm not quite sure <gasps> 455 simoleons omg that is crazy like I almost want to have a yard sale just because of that but let's just, eh, let's check the inventory here and see. Okay, so it doesn't have like an expiration. That's what I wasn't sure if I put it in the table, if it would like expire. That's only worth 151 smallions, but I mean, it's better than nothing. Um, so those are the two that we have right now. But like I said, I think we're going to go ahead and head over to the consignment store and then I'll see you guys there. Okay, so here we are at the lot. I did want to take a quick second because there's something I had thought about as it was loading that I kind of want to talk to you guys about. So this is only like my second time recording with green screen and I'm trying my best to like work with the settings, but honestly, I have a really crappy webcam. Well, actually I have a good webcam <laughs> considering it's a webcam, um, but it just doesn't have the best quality. So it's not going to be perfect. Um, depending on how my channel grows in the future, I am considering upgrading to like a decent like digital camera um, nothing crazy um, I wouldn't do anything really nice unless I was blessed with the opportunity to become monetized um, but yeah I just kind of wanted to say that sorry if it's I hope it's not annoying to anyone I think it's better than having like a big box blocking the screen so I'm pretty happy with it um, and eventually maybe I'll be able to like upgrade my lighting which should help quite a bit I mean it's still not going to be perfect because it's just not a very good picture quality um but yeah I'm hoping to make a few other upgrades in the future but for right now this is what I can afford and what I have so I hope that you guys like it and it's not too much of an inconvenience for people um yeah so anyway let's just get back with to our episode here so I have one of Little Miss Sam's mods installed which uses this ATM machine to actually obtain credit. So that's what we're gonna do because I believe that this, this uh, retail lot costs like 15,000 simoleons or something to that effect. So I am gonna have um, Fallon be the one to go ahead and apply for it. And I think we're gonna apply for $25,000 credit. It's kind of a lot, but it's what we need to buy this property and her dad decided to come with them so he could check it out So she's you know putting in her application. She was approved for the credit. So we're just gonna check out this lot. So I Did build this it's basically a shell. There's really nothing inside. I used a lot of the debug uh, plant items and such So it's not super expensive if I had used like all actual like plants and stuff in game it would have been really 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 expensive but I figure like the lot comes like this they're renting it or rent to own or something I don't know they're leasing it so like it already has like the landscaping maybe they have like a landscaping contract uh, contractor and it's like the landlord's responsibility I don't know I, I guess I think too much into it but then the inside is just completely bare we have it's like ready for us to move in so we have all the signage I loved the globes I felt like it just fit like with the uh aesthetic of like an upcycled or like a thrift shop or a consignment store um and then there is a like a little bathroom and that's it like 
So it's not, it's cute. I think it's really cute, but it's not super fancy. Like there's nothing, there's uh, no like shelving or anything. So we're gonna have to purchase all that. So that's why we kind of needed a little bit extra money as well. Um, so yeah, I think we are gonna go ahead and purchase this, which is gonna require me to hop back to our lot and then come back. So I'm gonna do all that and then we'll come back. <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> I wasn't expecting this prompt. <laughs> so Fallon just got back to their home lot and her dad just called her and was like, we've been thinking about trying for a baby lately. Do you think we should do it? We want to, but we're not sure. It's a huge responsibility. What do you think? Uh, I'm like, I'm not gonna lie, when I first created this family, I'm like crying because I'm just like so shocked. When I first created this family, I did consider like, oh, well, maybe they would get so like kind of depressed that they would miss their children and they'd be like, well, let's just start over again. We're not ready to be empty nesters. But like at the same time, they're, they are adults like, and they are closer to elderhood than they are to young adulthood. <laughs> so I'm like, should they? But I feel like it might be a good storyline in terms of like, oops, surprise, happy surprise, but surprise. Uh, uh mm, I get. I mean, I didn't know the game could do this, so I'm just gonna say, you know what? Try, try, try for that baby. <laughs> All right, so we're about to purchase this lot. It's called the Upcycle Corner. We can always change it if we want to. I would love some name recommendations for what their consignment store should be called. So please put those down. Uh, in the comments. I'd really appreciate that. Um, but after, you know, we pay for this lot, we're going to have a little bit, we're going to have a little bit more than 4,000 simoleons left. Um, so we're going to, we're going to go ahead and do it. Okay. So transfer funds to your business. Probably should have figured out how much we had before this. Um, but I feel like I feel like Phoenix is really on Fallon's side. So I think we're going to do 3000 um, to really get things started. That leaves us with 1300 simoleons. Um, this lot is so cute. Fallon left this here um, before they left earlier. But yeah, I'm so excited. So like, can't wait. To, let's have her go ahead and wash that. So I can go in to... Um, build by and, and put our items in. But I did want to see, all right, so markup. The most you can mark up is 100%. So that's why I definitely feel like we're gonna go ahead and like do the kombucha and that stuff off of the stand because you can mark that up 300% and it just seems really silly to like waste that opportunity. Uh, maybe we could potentially just put a stand out you know, the stand out here and just sell it on this lot. So it feels like we're using our business. Um, but yeah, I just, mm, I don't know. That just seems kind of silly to me. So I want to go ahead and put these items like in our showroom here, like, Ooh, <laughs> I guess this will be our bathroom section. I don't know. I'm not really sure how I want to organize it. Cause it is kind of, it's like odd things to put in there, but I mean, we found them. Um, wait, what? She found a fabricated double bed. Oh, it's, it's scorched. Oh, this is super cute. Our garden section over here. <laughs> um, all right, I put that in a while ago. I need to find a slottable surface so they have books to read. Um, but we just need like a desk or a simple table to put this on. Oh, I'm itchy, I'm sorry, my head is itchy. I kind of wish I had had her fabricate a table because then we could have sold it once they sold this. I can't wait to sell this thing. I can't wait to sell that thing. Um, I almost want to make that the only thing that's, I should, if I did that, <laughs> we could pay our loan back right away. Um, <laughs> uh, it feels like cheating, but it's not because we found it. So, all right, I'm sorry. I'm getting distracted. Um, I think I am gonna have to use any type of regular surface, so maybe I should just get a desk because we need one at the house anyway, so we can just use it after the fact. 
and I think I'm just gonna wait did we get did we get a desk with eco lifestyle no mm, that sucks um why am I so indecisive it's like really not a big deal all right I'm just gonna get the cheapest desk option eh now for that price I should just get a stupid table right I should just get a stupid table uh, we'll just do this poolside. I don't know why this is so complicated for me. And then we'll put this on here. Oh, it's broken, so she needs to fix it, uh, which I think that's fair. So we'll go ahead and repair that. Um, why can't you repair it? Go here. Why can you not repair this? All right. Let me see if she needs a chair. I'm clicking the chair thinking it's going to take me to the chairs. I'm so excited right now. I can't even think. I'm so, I can't calm down. Uh, all right. Can you repair it now? Yes. She needed a chair. That's stupid. That's really stupid. Um, so I think I'm just going to set that for sale. It feels like cheating. It really seriously feels like cheating. <gasps> the romance festival. Maybe we won't sell anything today only because it's summer and we can get all of the really expensive flowers at the romance festival. <laughs> this is this. I'm all over the place. I'm sorry. I'm so excited. I'm just so excited. I've been wanting to do this this whole time. And I feel like I'm probably blushing like crazy because it's really hot in my office right now. Like I'm sweating and I really want to turn on my fan. Okay. So she repaired that. I think we're just going to go ahead and hit up the romance festival with our sister. Neither of them has like been in, had any type of romantic notions towards anybody. I kind of need to put some Sims in the world. I have, I have some ideas for Phoenix based off of some of the people she's interacted with so far in these episodes. Uh, I wonder if anyone can figure out who I'm thinking of. Uh, it's the person she's talked to the most in all of these episodes, like on community lots and stuff like that. Um, but I have no idea for Fallon. Fallon is just like so focused on like becoming a maker and like I guess getting this consignment store essentially because the the maker freelance career is just not really working for us. Anyway, I'm gabbing. Let's just let's go ahead to the romance festival. Okay, so we are here at the romance festival. Like immediately, I want um, Phoenix to come over here and harvest all of these flowers because I mean she's our flower person and oh my god wait please tell me that where are the birds of paradise are there no birds of paradise this round like I was oh yes okay thank thank goodness I was like I'm counting on that <laughs> so how many did we get we got four. Oh my goodness. They're worth 51 simoleons and they're not even like amazing quality, I don't think. Anyway, I do think that it's good for them to kind of venture around. I could totally see like Phoenix. Mm, it's so expensive, but she's going to purchase this piece of art because I just see her as like supporting like local artists and like small businesses and stuff. Let's go ahead and have... Um, well, I guess they could do it together. Have them have tea. Sorry, I keep pausing because I have the hiccups. And uh, I feel like it's annoying for people to have to hear me hiccuping. Um, anywho, I'm going to also have um, Fallon come over here and request romance, guru's wisdom. Um, I also wanted to run something by you guys. So I realized I spelled her name with one L and I think it's traditionally spelled with two. Do you feel that I should change it? I'm really not opposed to it. I just feel like we're at part 13 at this point or 14, I'm not sure. And I kind of feel like it might be a little silly to change it, but <laughs> if you don't know, I am dyslexic. <laughs> Spelling is not my forte. Uh, so yeah, that was that was 100% on me. I thought it was seriously one L, so. Anyway, maybe maybe it's just quirky because I'm silly. <laughs> I don't know. Um, did she tell us yet? 
Some say love will tear us apart. Some say love will keep us together. We must decide, or you must decide for yourself what you believe. Oh my God, it's so like, <laughs> it's so vague. It feels so, feels so Fallon. Um, all right, Phoenix, can you do the same thing? Like request, request her wisdom. Um, yes. So she wants to throw petals. Wait, why can't you ugh, request wisdom? And why don't you just like say hello to this person? Um, I'm not sure if you can get influence points like outside of your neighborhood or not. I haven't really ventured outside of my neighborhood. <laughs> look, at, look at Fallon looking at Phoenix. She's like, huh? What are you getting at? <laughs> she just cracks me up. But they're, they're just so pretty. I feel like I say this in like pretty much every episode, but they are like, they're so flipping beautiful. So what is, oh, she didn't tell her yet. She's waiting, uh, oh, flirt, wait, what? Okay, I mean, she's kind of old. <laughs> Did she get the same? No, that was for, that was for Fallon. I'm waiting for her to give Phoenix her advice. And then maybe she'll throw petals at her sister. All right, so love is a fountain of eternal youth from which we all can drink from. Her wisdom kind of sucks. <laughs> oh, again, just like, look, look at Fallon. I feel like she's almost telling her sister, like, will I ever find love? Like, is it meant for me? Because I just feel... Like, it's not meant for me. And I feel like, <laughs> I feel like Phoenix is just like, no, sis, like, you got this. Like, it's just not time yet. Like, you're so busy and, like, you are a catch and you're just not ready to, like, take the time to actually open your eyes to see who's around. Um, she's like, it'll come. It'll come in due time. Aw, I love them. I feel like she should go ahead and just give her sister a hug. Um, oh, look at that. They like definitely have each other's backs, like for sure. I love these two. Like they're super close, but they're also super independent. Like they do not depend on the other to do what they want to do. And I just, I love, I just, I really like them. I think they're amazing, amazing young women. Um, oh, there's more, there's more, um, birds of paradise available thought I saw like one we're gonna take what we can get <laughs> uh, oh, I was like what is that that's her uh, her loan that we will have to pay back um, oh we got two more birds of paradise we are like killing it um, I do think that it probably is a good idea for them to go home because like or at least okay maybe Fallon's gonna leave a little early how is Phoenix doing. She's kind of hungry. Let's have her come over here and order some puffer fish Nigeri. I'm not sure if it's gonna go well, but she's definitely the adventurous type, so I could definitely see her purchasing something super risky, um, wanting to just try her hand at something new. Uh, I'm just like not navigating well. Ah! <laughs> All right, where is she going? Here she is. Like, it's like pretty much proving my point. How I was like, they both, they don't need to be around each other to like try different things. Like they're close, but they can also like do things on their own. And I just love that about them. <laughs> I think they're so much fun. They make me so happy, these two. They're just like, they're so, they're such special, independently strong young women. So I think when she's done eating, we'll probably head back. Is there anyone we want to talk to? Like, I feel like Phoenix is open to a, you know, a love interest, but she's not like searching for it. I mean, she's got her recyclables. That's what she loves. <laughs> she cracks me up. 
but we'll go ahead and finish up this meal and then head back home. She wants to paint a painting. Um, I think that's a good aspiration and become confident. So I think that's, that's a good one for us to do. We still need to sell power or water. Um, unfortunately we used all of our money to like, <laughs> um, do the consignment store. Oh my goodness. Um, so I don't know, but I'm going to have her go ahead and head home. All right, we are back. She is tired and she needs to go to the bathroom, but I do want to hop in and just buy another, uh, probably two more planter boxes. Um, now that we have, maybe I'll move since these are already planted because sometimes they have problems like reaching the planter box if it's like against a wall or something to like plant stuff. So I'm going to put these where those were. Um, okay. And have her come in here and just plant these new flowers. Uh, I'm t mm, let's just plant all four. <laughs> It's a lot of money. Um, and then we'll plant these lilies. Um, and then we'll leave the rest open. So I'm going to have her just come and plant these before she goes to bed. Um, Fallon is just making, what is she making? Uh, she, a BLT. All right, so we'll have her do those and then we'll water the plants and then she can use the restroom and go to sleep. And Fallon's just gonna go ahead and finish her dinner. Um, but I do feel like this is the perfect place to leave off for today. I just wanna say thank you so much for watching. If you like this episode, please be sure to give a big fat thumbs up, comment and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Even when my teardrops start to dry Even when the sun begins to shine again Taking all the advice there is and none of it has helped Experience has made me realize that I won't build my life on empty words Being so damn naive, it only hurts I'm so tired